Thanks for joining us today. We'll be looking at a Pacer's Double Barreled Solution Cloud Edition running inside Advantech's Device On IoT Device Management. And one of the Double Barreled Solution's newest features is Core Snapshot, which allows for OS and data backup and recovery. Stay tuned, because after we demonstrate the Double Barreled Solution, we'll also be showing you how Core Snapshot works. Here on the left under Add-ins, I'm going to choose NUA Pacer SSD Widget 2.0 and that gives me the main dashboard for the Double Barreled Solution Cloud Edition. Here on the top left you can see the health status of the currently online SSDs. We have five healthy SSDs online as you can see inside the green circle. Zero of our SSDs currently connected are in warning or in critical status. And actually there are nine SSDs that could be online. Right now we have only five system may update in real time as they're connected or disconnected. Here you can see that when they're looking at SSDs that have less than 50% of their lifetime remaining, that's the situation for none of our currently connected drives. Same thing for any SSDs that may have had unexpected power losses, none at this time. In this box on the right we can look at the top five SSDs sorted by the heaviest read-write workloads as measured in gigabytes. When I look at write, I can see this one at the top here has over 5,000. And here in read, again, the top drive is the one that has the most read actions performed, whereas the other four drives, very few. We can also sort the total number of SSDs by lifetime remaining. Out of the nine currently connected, they all have 80 to 100% of their lifetime remaining. And this box shows uh, temperature monitoring. Whether you're using standard or industrial grade SSDs, you can easily monitor any fluctuations in temperature over time. These ones look pretty stable. And at the bottom, we have a very important box which actually allows you to filter by the status of SSD, the model, you can do a keyword search or even uh, search by different firmware versions that are on the SSDs. You can choose a number of items per page and you can, if you need to, you can click on Core Analyzer to learn more about the usage of any particular SSD. As you can see here, even the, the function of naming your drives so they can sort them more easily is an option. And here you can choose the largest or the smallest device sorted by the model number. Here it's 60 GB at the top, 120 GB at the bottom. All these are easy ways for you to filter and examine your SSDs which are currently connected. See those gray boxes on the right? They're part of a Pacer's new core snapshot process which we'll be demonstrating later. And last but not least we have notifications here where you can choose to be informed by line, SMS, or other methods, even email is available, various social media apps. So if your engineers need to be informed when they're out of the office, the notifications can be set up to inform them this way. You can see here one device lost connection and a device was connected again. All these are easily tracked, cleared, you can sort them by information, warning, or error types if needed. So this has been a simple overview of the Double Barreled Solution Cloud Edition running inside Advantex Device On. And as promised, up next is a demonstration of the new Core Snapshot function. We'll be demonstrating on an Advantex IPC, shown here, the ARC1220. Here we're powering on the Advantec IPC. A Pacer's cutting edge technology will help us reboot an IPC after it suffers serious damage and a blue screen of death. The system is running smoothly. It looks like the SSD is nearing critical status. So we will run the core snapshot backup for both the OS and user data. Wow, it's completed in just a few seconds. That's amazing.
Now we'll restart the IPC. After rebooting, we'll simulate a virus attack by damaging some of the system files. Now, when the IPC tries to reboot, we run into the blue screen of death. The IPC tries to reboot again and again, but can't solve this problem even with a forced reboot. In many situations, users will want to trigger the core snapshot process via device on. But it can also be triggered by a GPIO pin for OOB disaster situations. We're going to demonstrate this second method today. Our engineer begins the core snapshot process by pressing the hardware trigger. In this demonstration, the LED indicates that Core Snapshot is running. Core Snapshot has been carried out and the system is rebooted. Now the IPC is back to normal and the OS is running smoothly again. No more blue screen of death. We hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of both the double-barreled solution running inside Advantex device on and a Pacer's brand new core snapshot technology running on an Advantech ARC1220 IPC. Thanks for joining us today.